In this video, how to get more subscribers to your YouTube channel, taking you from 100, 1,000, 10,000, even 100,000 subscribers. It's coming up. Brian G. Johnson. Brian G here and to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. Thank you for 75,000 subscribers. Absolutely amazing. And even more exciting is the fact that so many of those subscribers have just recently subscribed as my channel's really taking off. I wanna talk today about how you can get 100, 1,000, 10,000 and even 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. You see, the thing to think about is what gets you to 100 or maybe 1,000 subscribers certainly isn't gonna be the stuff that gets you to 10,000 subscribers. In making the jump from 10,000 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers is a whole nother ball game. Now, the first thing to think about is when we talk about how to get 100 subscribers, I hear a lot of people saying things like, don't do sub for sub, don't bug friends and family, don't beg for subscribers, and I don't think you wanna beg, but you know what, there's nothing wrong with asking friends to subscribe. There's nothing wrong with doing anything you can to get a subscriber. You wanna hit 100 subscribers as quickly as possible. Now, one of the things you can do is join various YouTube communities across the web. You can find some amazing communities on Reddit as well as Facebook. One such community is the Tube Ritual community with over 11,000 members, fantastic group of YouTubers. Feel free to join that community, link in the description. Now, what you don't wanna do is don't sub for sub. Here's why, you don't wanna piss off a bunch of top YouTubers, which that's exactly what you do. The idea is generally the same, find a video with tons of views, those are usually found on successful YouTuber channels. And when you publish that kind of comment, you know what happens is YouTubers ban you from their channel and they can't get to know you. They can't shout you out. They can't get excited about what you're doing on YouTube because you kind of used their platform, their YouTube channel that they've worked really hard on as your promotional advertising place and it's not cool, so don't do that. And furthermore, it's against YouTube policies and can get you in big trouble. You may even lose your account. Don't sub for sub. Now the thing you do wanna do is to have fun, enjoy the process of being a new channel. It can be intimidating. We all wanna grow, but you know what? It can really be fun to see your channel take shape, to add the custom art, to create videos and thumbnails and publish your videos. Now the thing to focus on is to keep uploading and stay consistent. Figure you wanna upload maybe three to five videos a month and that should be your goal. It's a hobby, it's something you wanna do. If you're super passionate, then jump straight to what I'm gonna share for how to get a thousand subscribers. But early on, you don't have to try to figure everything out. You should just simply enjoy the process of uploading videos here on YouTube. Now let's talk about how to get a thousand subscribers. Cause quite frankly, you don't have enough friends and family, right? To get a thousand subscribers, you gotta start thinking and acting differently. Now here's the first tip for a thousand subscribers. Get your channel monetized. Strive to become monetized. It might take six months or a year and that's okay, but don't fall into this camp of it's just for fun and I don't really care about monetization. And here's why. Creating videos takes a lot of time and energy and furthermore, there's a lot of stuff that you probably are gonna wanna buy if you really dig it. If you keep doing it, you're gonna want a camera, the fancy lights, you're gonna want maybe, that microphone is like $350. If you get monetized, you can start earning a few bucks and that will be an option. You'll earn enough money to reinvest in your channel and so on. So just know that you wanna get monetized as you move forward. And by the way, if we're talking about getting a thousand subscribers, that's part of the policy for getting your channel reviewed and hopefully monetized. Number one, you gotta have a thousand subscribers. And number two, you need 4,000 watch time hours. 
And by following what I'm gonna share coming up, you're gonna take care of those really fast. Now do this, try publishing a bunch of different videos. I see so many YouTubers, they make the same videos, their thumbnails always look the same, they have the same editing style, or lack thereof, they don't edit at all. You wanna always be trying to mix things up and to do different things with the videos you publish. Also, around this point, as you're striving to get to 1,000 subscribers, pay attention to best practices. You wanna learn what's most important on YouTube. See, that's really a big deal. There are so many things you're gonna hear about. But really, if you just focus on maybe 10 things, that's things like titles, thumbnails, topics, uh, your delivery on camera, the editing in your video. If you focus on what's most important, again, the priority, you'll be much more likely to drastically improve your videos and you'll be improving the most important stuff and you'll get to a thousand subscribers so much faster. Now on your journey, you're gonna have to ask yourself a really tough question. Do I suck? Go back to the videos you published when you first started. After all, at this point, you've probably been in the game for about six months. You've probably published dozens and dozens of videos. Go back and watch the videos you filmed when you first started and say, hey, do these videos suck? and you'll almost always cringe a little bit. You'll almost go, wow, these weren't as great as I thought they were when I published the videos. And the more you can like own your suckage, the more you can focus on improving, and the more likely you'll do just that. Far too many YouTubers just, they're oblivious to the fact that their videos are pretty bad. I hate to say it, but the fact of the matter is, you know, mo <laughs> Most YouTubers could dramatically improve their videos. Mine were terrible when I started. That's okay. We all start from the same spot. No skills, no abilities. We don't know how to present on camera, but we can improve. If you suck, own it and move on and strive to improve. Hey, let me know. Do you suck? Let me know in the comment below. And crazy as it may sound, these things alone will nearly get you to a thousand subscribers as long as you stay on the path you continue to upload. Now, after you've been in the game for maybe six or nine months and you're on the road to a thousand subscribers, ask yourself and reevaluate really what you want on YouTube. Is it for fun? Or maybe you're getting pretty serious and you wanna grow. If it's for fun, hang loose. Don't worry about 10,000 subscribers. Don't worry about all these best practices. Again, it's for fun. But if you're getting really serious, if you do want that growth, then double down and constantly reevaluate where you're at, where your skills are at, and stay on the path of uploading videos. Do that and you'll be able to get to those 1,000 subscribers. Now let's talk about how to get to 10,000 subscribers. Now when it comes to getting those 10,000 subscribers, the first thing we have to talk about is completely 100% accepting responsibility for what you want. And here's why. Your goal is to ultimately to be better than about 95% of the YouTubers on this platform. And quite frankly, nobody can get you there other than yourself. So by you accepting responsibility, like, hey, it's up to me. If it's gonna be, it's up to me and I've gotta make it happen. That's gonna help you have the right mindset to make it happen. Now, the other thing you really wanna focus on is do your best, your absolute best, not to place blame. It's not the algorithm. YouTube doesn't hate small channels. It's not because you don't have a fancy camera. Do what you can with what you have. Don't place blame and again, accept that responsibility. Now, let's talk some tactical stuff that can help you make it happen. If you want 10,000, you gotta become a resource for one specific thing on YouTube. Note, don't strive to be the best. You don't need to be the best Call of Duty channel. You don't have to be the best gardening channel. And you don't have to be the number one fitness channel on YouTube. And quite frankly, if that's the approach you take, it's really hard. There can only be one number one. What you wanna focus on is to be an important resource. You see, here's what's up. If viewers are really into Call of Duty, I guarantee they're gonna watch five, 
10, maybe 20 channels that is, about Call of Duty. And your job is to simply become, remember, an important resource for that thing. Call of Duty, gaming, health, fitness, weight loss, etc. And another tactical thing is you're gonna have to really go deep in the topics you select. The more you try to ask yourself, what is my audience? My Call of Duty audience, what do they really want to watch? And furthermore, we're not talking about your subscribers. You want to think of that resource your channel is going to become, and then you want to think about people that haven't even found your channel yet. They haven't watched your videos. What are the topics they're really excited to click on? Make those videos. And furthermore, your job is to really create fun, engaging, and compelling titles as well as thumbnails that viewers want to click on. When you do that, it will dramatically boost your views and your subscriber growth rate. So these are the things on a tactical level that will get you to 10,000 subscribers. Now, earlier I mentioned evaluation, and this is something you're going to want to think about as you start to move forward, constantly reevaluating your channel and what skills are lacking, what you need to develop more of, and what's doing well. And the way you're going to do that is you've got to get into your YouTube analytics and study. You've got to pay attention. You've got to figure out which videos are driving the views and which videos are not. So what about the big one? How do you get to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube? First, you've got to know that it's a long journey and any long journey in life is going to have tremendous ups and downs. YouTube, when you get super serious, is really challenging at some points. You're going to have really challenging times. And by expecting that, it's just a little bit easier to take. <laughs> For example, I have been filming videos, tons of videos, for the last handful of days. And I've continued to have problems with microphones and audio issues. And that's just part of it when you're in it to win it at 100,000 subscribers. So plan on that. And at the same time, when you get serious, when you buckle down, when you know the only person that can make it happen is you, things get really exciting. You're going to see great results. Expect super high highs, and sometimes the lows can be pretty low. And as you move forward on your journey to 100,000, the thing you have to honor is the audience. It's those people that have found you and subscribed and they dig your channel. Those are the people that are making it possible for you to achieve your goals. Never forget that. And at the same time, understand there's a huge audience out on YouTube that is trying to find your channel. It's your job and responsibility to make it easy for those people to find your videos. How do you do that? Use the language that they think about in their head. Use the language in the words that they search for when they're looking for videos similar to yours. And earlier I mentioned analytics. At this point, you should definitely be split testing your thumbnails. Check out the video I published on split testing right there. It's in the YouTube card. And this is something that can dramatically help you understand what moves the needle for your audience, what they like, what they don't, thumbnail styles, etc. Split testing is powerful. Don't miss out. And as you move forward, never lose sight of the three most important things. Number three is the audience. Like I've mentioned, that's what makes it possible. Listen to your audience, read the comments, do live streams, ask for feedback, pull the audience in YouTube cards, ask them what they want. When you do that, you're going to be more in tune and more likely to publish videos they really dig. And number two, topics, titles, and thumbnails. By this point, your thumbnails need to be amazing and really different from all other channels on YouTube. Work hard to become a good graphic designer or pay somebody to develop your thumbnails for you. And lastly, nothing matters more than your delivery. Because at the end of the day, it's delivery that separates small channels from big channels. The same subject, but one grows exponentially quickly. Why? It's the person behind the camera. It's the person behind the microphone doing gameplay commentary, right? When you watch two documentaries on just one subject and you love one, but the other's horrible, why? Lack of story and poor delivery is what separates the winners 
from the losers. Do this, check out these additional videos right here to grow on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Click on the yellow B to the G icon to do just that. And when you do, you'll feed a poodle. I've got two and they're hungry. I'll see you on the next video. You dig?